Hello guys and welcome back to SP Vids and in today's video there's a bit of a change of scene. I am here on the Koala Sampler from Elf Audio and I'm on an iPad which is very foreign territory for me. So this is the start of my series all about this sampler and beat making app which is available on Android and iOS. I appreciate this is a long time coming and this app has been available for quite a long time but I finally got around to recording some videos about it. I'm really excited about this because I don't know an awful lot about this app. I've made a couple of beats here and there, but I've never really got properly into it. So I'm hoping this series will help me to learn loads about this app. And like I do with everything, guys, I decided that I'd make some educational videos about this so that you guys can learn. And at the same time as you learning about it, me making these videos helps me to learn about it as well. So if you want to get hold of this, it's on the iOS and Android marketplaces. It's very reasonably priced. I think it's $3.99 and it's definitely worth the purchase. There are some add-ons as well, which I'll talk about later on in this series, but they're all really reasonably priced and I think this is a great app for the money. So what I'm going to do in this video is give you a tour of basically the whole interface and show you loosely what this is about. So when you open it up, you're not going to feel completely daunted about it. It's pretty straightforward to understand and that's the great thing about this app actually. The UX and the design of it is really, really simple, really, really nice. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to kind of navigate your way around this and start looking at making beats. So the first thing that happens when you boot up this app is that you are presented with the sample page. Now, if we look at the top of the screen here, there's three options. They're basically tabs. the sample, sequence and perform. And then down the side here, we've got a burger menu. You can see there's a lot of stuff going on here. Some useful things hidden here, new load, save, save as, record song. We'll get into all those things later on in the series, but for now, all you need to know is there's a lot of stuff hidden in there and it's gonna be useful in the future. So across these three tabs at the top, sample, this is the sampling area where you're sampling your sounds. Sequence, this is where you're gonna sequence your sounds. So you're gonna put them onto a grid so that it plays back in a beat or whatever you wanna do with it. Usually will be some sort of beat based music. And perform is an area where basically you have access to effects. Once you've built a sequence, uh, you can apply the effects to it and perform the beat. So they're the three main areas for this. And they're the three areas where you're gonna be doing absolutely everything to make beats on this app. That's how simple it is. So I think people coming from the SP background might really appreciate this because it's quite similar in the sense that it looks like the SP, uh, but it's just so simple the way that it's laid out. So I really like that about it. So in this area here, the sample area, this is the first screen. At the top, we've kind of got the uh, monitoring area where you can choose if you want to monitor with headphones, choose how the sound is going to be inputted into this device. You can see it's flicking up and down at the moment because it's using the internal mic on the actual iPad. There's an effects button as well. You can use that to apply some pretty basic effects to what you're doing. And then when we move down here, you can see it says press and hold a red pad to record. So what these are are little pots and all of these can contain samples. And you can see along the bottom here as well, we have four banks. So you can click A, B, C or D. And you can see here, you can kind of flick through them and that means you've got access to 64 pots or pads, digital pads for sampling onto, which is really, really nice. So if you wanted to go ahead and do a recording, you can see here from the instructions, like I just mentioned, press and hold a pad uh, to record. It has to be red to record into, and you can see that all of these are available at the moment. And it's not just the camera, these are slightly pulsing as well. I was freaking out before thinking there was something wrong with me filming an iPad screen. Uh, but it turns out, yeah, that these are actually pulsing. So let's go ahead and record something into one of these, maybe a bass drum sound. Okay, that wasn't very good, but you get the idea. You can see now that this is turned blue and there is a waveform available on it. That is the waveform that you've just recorded and we can listen to that now. Now, I appreciate the audio is not very good on this example, guys. It's because I'm not gonna hook up anything to this because I'm just kind of showing you around. Um, but now we've got that sample. Uh, I'm going to do a snare as well. So you can already see it's pretty easy to start getting ideas down, but don't worry, it's not just your own sounds that you can import into this. You can get samples from YouTube, from your files on your device and all that kind of thing, so you can make proper beats. These are just examples so I can show you the, uh, the basic navigation. So moving on, now that we've got these two samples in, I'll just do a hi-hat as well so we've got a full drum kit. So you can see here now that we've imported some samples, we've got some options here. 
We've got volume, pitch, pan, and edit and delete. You can go ahead and delete a sample by pressing that and confirming it, or you can just click and hold it and drag it up and you see this bin kind of appears and you can just drop it onto there and that will delete the sample like this. So let me just re-record that. You can see that it's deleted it. So yeah, we can change the pitch and we can change the volume as well if you wanted to. You can also click edit here and it gives you a few options. I will talk about those in a different video and I'll talk about Samurai in a different video as well, which is an update for this, which you can purchase. Uh, but for now, just know that there's a few things in there you can do. You can loop it, reverse it, one shot it, choke on, choke off, all those kind of things are hidden in there. So that's pretty much everything for the sample area. It's really nice and simple. Let's go ahead into sequence. And to start a new sequence, we can see up here we've got play record and we've got a BPM. So mine sets at 82. You can also put a metronome on as well. So that's gonna play when you're recording your beat. And you can choose these pots at the top here to do your sequences. And also you can scroll across. There's 32 pots available there for sequences, so you're never gonna run out of sequence space there. 32 is an awful lot. I think I'd only ever have like four or five at the most for a complete lo-fi beat. Um, so the sequencer, yeah, you literally just select what you wanna play. And you can see below here, you've got the area where you can see your samples again. So what you're gonna be able to do is play these samples into the sequence, record them. You can set the length here, you can double it up, you can use the plus and minus. You can undo, you can clear, and there's also a piano roll button as well. So it's asking me to choose a sample, and this kind of puts it over a scale. It's a really, really nice feature. It's like 16 levels on the MPC. We also have a similar thing now on the SP404 Mark II. You can change the scales down here and play around and do all sorts of melodies. So if you had a one shot, which was a note, like a synth note, you could come in here, use the piano roll, and be able to perform four melodies, basically, which is really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly record something in just very, very loosely, and we'll see what that sounds like. Okay, so that's recorded in, and you can see that it's written it to that part. A really great feature here is that you can just drag and drop this and copy it and you've got a copy straight away like that. Exactly the same as the samples, you can just pick these up and put it into the bin if you don't want it anymore as well. You can also rehearse songs over the top of your sequences as well, so if you don't want to commit to recording, you can go ahead and just press play, make sure the right one's selected. And you can see that that hasn't actually written that to the sequence. You can practice that and then later on you could go ahead and commit to recording it. Down here I'll quickly mention, I forgot to mention this on the sample page, that there is a thing here called samples. You can click this and basically this is locations where you can either browse the stock sounds that come with this app. And there's quite a few actually hidden in here. Bass, chords, drum hits, kits, mel melodic and SFX, sound effects. And then you can set locations as well. So if there's an area in the files app on iOS, a lot of people will import to the files area and then you can go ahead and add a location and then you can just quickly browse to it, which is a really good feature. We'll definitely be using that a lot in the future. So that's the sequence done loosely. We can copy that, we can switch between sequences, etc. What I'm gonna do now is just show you some quick performing of the effects. Now I appreciate the sound quality is next to terrible on this particular video, but I might as well just show you quickly how that works. So if we move over to perform here, you can see you're presented with a very similar screen to the sequence area, but the bottom half has changed. We've got vanilla and strawberry effects there in two separate tabs. And the effects on this app are killer guys. I think they're really, really nice. They're well designed and they can add some really nice source to your beats. You've got all sorts of stuff in here. You've got crush, pitch, comb, ring, reverb compressor is actually pretty good so you can go ahead and apply all of these to your sequences and i'll quickly demo them like i mentioned the sound quality isn't going to be great but it's worth showing you guys how these work so i'm going to go ahead and press play on my sequence and then apply some effects on the fly now these work like sliders so you slide up and down and the more you slide up the more intense the effect will affect the sequence that you're performing so let's give this a little go <laughs>
You also have the option to hold here. So what this will do, it will hold the position that you choose on the effect. So let me go ahead and show you this as well. I'm going to press hold and I'm going to put pitch down a little bit. I'm going to put some crush on and I'm going to put a bit of reverb. And you can see there now it's holding those effects in place. I'm going to go ahead and press play and they will all be applied to this sequence. <laughs> Okay, probably sounds absolutely horrendous to you guys, but hopefully it gives you the idea. And then if you want to take those off, just hit hold again and they all disappear. So that is the general sort of way around this app, guys. I hope this was useful to you guys that are just starting out on this particular app. Obviously, I'm going to have a lot more videos coming about this app, but this is just the first introduction. This is a way of working out how to navigate around everything. I think this is especially useful if you're brand new to sampling and using music-based apps. But yeah, hit a thumbs up if this was useful for you. If you're already using Koala and you're still here watching, well, thank you very much for making it this far. Leave a comment below if you're hyped on this series. Do you want to see more videos? and are you already using Koala to make beats? I think there's a lot of potential for this app and I especially like the fact that, again, it's very portable. I've spoken a lot about portability on this channel recently and this is definitely going to be fitting into that category. So I'm sure we'll see some Koala beat making out and about now that I've got all the stuff that I need for my portable setup. So I'm going to sign off now, guys. I will see you all again for a new upload soon. Take care of yourselves and keep making beats. Peace. <laughs>